What's up guys, it's Mitch here. Today I'm doing a shoot with my friend Zoe. We're gonna be using these cane fields here. Gonna be shooting on the Canon R6 and I have the Sigma 24mm 1.4 art lens. And on the front, I have a Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter. So I'm gonna do some shots without the filter and some shots with it and then see what the difference is. Um, this filter is supposed to add sort of like a soft, dreamy effect to the photos and it's gonna be accentuated, especially when we're gonna be shooting into the sun. So I'm gonna put all the photos up throughout the video. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the shoot. You want to take a step like in, a couple steps in, maybe around here. I love these shots, they're so good. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite shoots that I've done recently. I just love the way that this field looked at this time of day, like late afternoon. And Zoe was amazing in front of the camera. The outfits just worked so well and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. And just move that um, hair off your face a bit. Yep, yeah, there you go. So what does a Promus filter actually do? Well, the aim of the filter is to make the images look a bit less clinical and a little bit more organic. So the filter will add a layer of softness to the overall image, as well as blooming the highlights. These filters are really popular in the professional filmmaking industry as they prevent shots from looking overly sharpened and they bring more atmosphere to the environment, especially when you're shooting backlit, but they're not as popular in the photography world. I thought it would be a fun little experiment to use a Promus filter on a photo shoot and see what kind of effects that we we're able to achieve with it. In terms of the photos I was able to capture in this shoot, the difference that the Promus filter made to the overall images was very subtle. Having used the filter in other situations such as indoor shoots and locations with artificial lighting, I noticed the effect to be much less noticeable in this shoot out in the field. There is a very slight softness to these images with the filter on, but you have to look really closely to see the difference. I noticed the biggest difference when shooting into the sun. I felt there was more of an overall softness and ambience to the photos that you can't really get without a filter. Do you want to come and stand out here in the middle of this field? So the strength of the filter that I was using was 1.8 and that's what others had recommended to me to get and I thought it might be interesting to try out the one quarter filter in a future video and see what the difference is between the quarter and the eighth strength. The 1 8 filter cost me around 170 Australian dollars, which is very expensive in my opinion, but I think it adds a little something extra to these photos and helps to set my work apart a little bit in terms of style, which is always a good thing in the completely oversaturated world of photography. I just want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes in filmmaking, design, photography, and much, much more. And the best thing about Skillshare is that it costs less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Going Pro with Portrait Photography by Sean Dalton is probably one of my favorite classes on the platform so far and one that I will recommend to anyone who's looking to take that next step into becoming a professional photographer. Sean takes you through not just how to shoot amazing portrait photos, but also how to find clients, price your work, plan shoots, and deal with all the post-production and delivery. You really get to see the entire process of a professional photographer, which I think is super rare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description of this video will get a free trial to Skillshare Premium Membership. So you'll get to watch Sean's class and many others with your free trial. So head down to the description and I'll see you guys over there. Walk away from me or like sort of run away from me and do like little twirly stuff. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Keep going, keep going. Yep.
<laughs> actually wiped out. Hey. <laughs> actually make my shutter speed a bit. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's make my shutter speed slow. Um... that pretty much wraps up the shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to say a massive thank you to Zoe for being our model and to Carlo for filming all of the behind the scenes. Let me know what you guys thought of the photos down in the comments section below and we'll see you in the next video.